fashionistas. So today I will be showing you my favorite fragrances and lotions that I have been loving for this year. And today I'm gonna show you different. I'm gonna show you um, body mist, lotions, and perfumes. And the way I'm gonna show you is in that order for that particular uh, item. So if you're interested, stay tuned. So the first fragrance mist that I am going to show you is Pink from Victoria's Secret, and this is the body mist. I normally use body mist and um, just anything that has to do with like mist, I only wear it around the house if I'm relaxing. I don't wear it like when I'm going out. Um, I just feel like it's more like a home type of relaxing when you know you just want to feel sexy and you just want to relax, you want to do nothing much. So this is the one that I use, one of them that I use for when I'm relaxing at home and this one smells um it smells clean and it smells very like subtle in a sense like you do feel sexy when you're at home and and you just want to just you know relax I love this one this is my top for uh, the fragrance mist the second item I want to show you is rush by Victoria's Secret and Rush is a fragrance mist. I believe that they're all the same body mist fragrance mist. I believe they're the same. But to be honest with you, this one here smells amazing. It smells amazing. I feel like I did find my fragrances in different um, scenarios that I'm at, that I'm in at the moment. I guess if you could say like the like this one here. I won't wear it at night. I'll wear it in the daytime because for me. I don't know just like for my demeanor for who I am is it just I feel like I can wear it for the daytime and this one I feel like I can wear it for the nighttime so weird but yeah I, I don't know that's just me but this is one of them that smells it smells amazing you can use it for day and night you really can but I just prefer to use it at night next one is another one from Victoria's Secret and this one is called love attic now this one here I can use it for day and night and ladies this one has like a um I'm not gonna say it has like a little bit of a fluorescent I don't like um, vanilla I don't like um, too much of a sweet sweet fluorescent but this one does have like a floral scent I'm not sure if it does have it in its chemicals but it, it, it does smell like that but it just it smells really good it, it, it really smells amazing and this one's called love addict from Victoria's Secret and ladies you will not be disappointed you will like this one now you know when we apply these fragrances or lotions or a perfume on us we all have different pores and we all react to it a different way because our pores are different but these are the one that works for me and I love them and I'm not saying that oh you should get them because I don't know if it works for you I'm just telling you that they do smell so good and maybe you can go to the stores you know test it out and smell it and see how it goes well with your um with your skin pores the next item is from Bath and Body Works, but I'm going to give you a little info on this. I am not a fanatic. It's weird to say. I don't know. I may be weird, but it's it's. I'm not a fanatic of Bath and Body Works. I only like their candles. Um, I have been given gifts from there, you know, as far as uh, uh, fragrance mist and body lotions, but I wasn't, I didn't. I was, I just didn't like them. I'm gonna be honest with you. I had two coupons. One was something for free and one was like 20% off. And uh, I got my free item and then I wanted to buy something, you know, cause I had a 20% off. So I was looking at the lotions and I'm like, literally, I went through like, I would say seven or 10 lotions and I'm like, I do not like any of these lotions anyway. So I came across this one and fashionistas. Mind you, I am not, I don't like their, their body. I don't like, I, I know my face can be dramatic, but when I tell you that this one here is called Velvet Sugar, and it smells, I don't want to say amazing, because amazing, I already used it. I don't want to say good, because it doesn't smell good. It smells off the chain. I don't know if I can use that. 
oh my, when I smelled this at Bath and Body Works, I was like, wow, this smells good. And I know you guys are probably like, what? You don't like Bath and Body Works? I'm not saying that I don't like them, like, like them, like them. I just don't, I don't like some of their lotions, obviously, because I like this one. And it has sheer butter and vitamin E, and it's a body lotion. And it's called Velvet Sugar. And oh my, let me see if it, what, what, um, ingredients it has here that I can pronounce right that I can pronounce um, let me see let me see let me see okay it has aloe it has panthenol okay I don't know none of these words I am so sorry but I'm trying to see if I see a word that has like that smell that smells okay so it says this uh, savor every moment as you indulge in this sweetie sumptuous blend of red velvet cream and golden plum laced with a swirl of sugared musk, pink jasmine, and wild strawberries. Too much is never enough. I knew it smelled like something fruity, so it has pink jasmine and wild strawberries. So, yeah, this one here smells amazing. So, if you're going to Bath & Body Works, you may want to check this one out. The next item I have for you is from Jessica Simpson and it's called Fancy Love. And this one here smells very, very elegant, very clean, very classy. And to be honest with you, this comes with a perfume, but I'm done with the perfume. That's how good it smells. Um, this one, obviously, I still have some. I don't know if you can see it, but it's like the shadow of the lotion is like right here. So I only use like this much. But I did not use this as much when I used the perfume, but I did combine it together when I was using the perfume. This one here, Cachanista, smells amazing, honestly. You know what this smells like? Like if you're going to like inside a Nordstrom um, store or Dillard's, that's, that's like when you go in the store, that's what this, it just reminds me of those type of uh, stores when you go in. So this one is a must guys. You may want to look into this one as well. So the next lotion that I have is as well from Victoria's Secret. I already showed you the fragrance mist and it's the Love Attic from Victoria's Secret and oh my goodness. Listen, let me tell you this. I wish there was like some kind of way, like sometimes it's kind of redundant to do these type of videos because you can't smell, you can go by what I'm saying. But if I can honestly say like, I wish there was some type of way that you can smell this. I mean, my goodness, like pl please take note that I'm, I'm the, t anyone that knows me knows that I love smelling good. I love sm nice smelling candles, carpet cleaner, um, Febreze spray when I wash my clothes everything has to smell good and clean and I'm that type. anyone that knows me knows that I'm like that so by me showing you this I hope that you trust that I'm um, saying that these items do smell really really amazing so yes this Victoria's Secret love addict um, lotion oh my goodness now this one here let me see let me see you can wear this one day and night just like the um fragrance mist but man let me tell you even if you don't wear the fragrance mist you can just wear this like just the lotion just if you don't want to wear no fragrance mist you could just wear the lotion and it still smells amazing it'll linger now oh i didn't even tell you how long they all last normally the victoria's secrets on me lasts for about two to two and a half hours and then i have to spray some more if i wish and the lotions last a little less um yeah it's a little pricey but i guess it depends on whoever's wearing it right i again it goes again with the pores so um yeah the the fragrance mist for victoria's secret like two and a half hours and the lotions a little less um, this one here lasted a long time. I would say for the most part like about three hours. This one is a bit um, I don't want to say strong, but it lasts longer than these two right here um, This lotion lasts a long time and this one's from Bath & Body Works This one's la this one lasts a long time and this one as well I cannot say when I say a long time. I, I would say like more than four hours 
So on to the perfumes. My favorite for the year 2015, the first one, dun 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 dun, because I love perfumes, is Jador from Christian Dior. And this one, oh my goodness. Now this one here smells sexy. It smells elegant. It smells like money. It smells like you spent some money on this perfume. I mean, my goodness, like literally. Le Let me stop because I don't want to seem dramatic, but this one is a must. This one's a must. So you guys got to look into this. This is another one that smells like it reminds me of the smell like you go into these high end stores. This is one of them. This is a must get fashionistas. You may want to look into this one again. Hmm, this was a gift from my husband. You see, I've used it a little bit, but to me, that's a lot, literally. But <laughs> I mean, you're like, what? Yeah, but it smells, um, this one is amazing. So the next item I am going to show you is from Victoria's Secret and it's called Heavenly. Heavenly is a very, very subtle perfume and it's one of their perfumes in the Victoria's Secret line. And honestly, I've been wearing Heavenly for years, like years. Every time I'm run, I, every time I run out of um, Heavenly perfume, I have to go get another one. And I also used the um, body wash, but they said that they discontinued it. And I'm like, wow, because that smelled really, really good. So yeah, look at the detail of this perfume. Look how pretty it looks. Now, this one looks like it's full, and you guys are like, you didn't use that one, but I did because I have several other small ones. It, like, it comes, I have like a packet that comes in those small ones. I use those first before I use this. And you guys are like, probably thinking, you are something else. It's not that, I just, Oh my goodness, I just tried to make sure that, you know, I, I don't know if, if it's OCD or whatever with perfumes and fragrances, but I tend to use the small one first before I use the larger um, quantity of perfume. So yes, this is another one that's my favorite. Goodness, the next one is called Very Sexy Now, and this one here looks white, but it's not, it, it comes out, see, look. It's a, it's a perfume and it looks like if it's a like lotion right but it's really oh my and I just sprayed on me another one but in the air oh my goodness it smells amazing this is another one that you guys got to look into now you guys probably wondering how do I choose my perfumes to be honest with you out of a hundred percent 98% I go by reviews, honestly. And you're probably like, but you just spoke about uh, pores, uh -huh, it smells on you. You're right, and I do. I do think about that too. But I just order it based on reviews. And if it doesn't smell good, I just go back and change it, exchange it at the store and get another one. But most of the time is 98% or I go based on the um, Macy's catalog that they send me or the Vogue magazine that I receive, my, my monthly subscription. And I just smell, you know, those little um, samples that they have on the side. That's what I do. So basically I go by that. And yeah, so this is another, this one has like a, um, a sweet tingly like a uh, clean type of scent this one kind of reminds me like not if you're not if you're uh, bathing with soap but like a high-end soap if I may that's what this one reminds me of remember I told you about the brochures and all that stuff and the little samples on the catalog this is what I'm talking about I received a lot of Macy's um, perfume catalog and as you see here I put a check on that one because I want to get that one and they have other ones that may be out and on sale or ones that are brand new so this is where I get my um, my ideas of which perfume I want does it smell good and whatnot and you see this clip here this is also and I don't I don't only have it for myself I have for my husband as well and these are perfumes that um, eventually I want to get so yeah let me show you the uh, Vogue magazine. This one is the December subscription. Oh, let me give you an example. Like this one here. Hello. Okay, like this one with Kendall Jenner. This one has a sample here. And that's what I do. I just see like small them and if I like them, I 
place a check or I rip it and I put it with my clip here the ones that are clipped there and go from there that's what I do and I think this one is my most yeah this one is my most recent um, perfume catalog from Macy's and as you see you see how they have Coco Chanel they have Chloe and they have Michael Kors so this is where I get my inspiration as far as perfumes that I will like and hopefully I can smell them through the samples that they send with the magazines so the next perfume that I'm going to show you, it's from Victoria's Secret and it's called Tease. And this one, Fashionista, smells so sexy in the sense of like, it's so sexy like you want to go to dinner with your husband or you're with the one that you love. This one, that's what I get from this one. Like I won't wear this if I'm going out with my friend to have brunch or something or I'm going out in an evening dinner with my friend. I just won't wear this one because this one doesn't strike me to be that type of perfume. So yeah, this one is more towards the um, if you're with your the one you love. So this one smells amazing. And the last one I have is a roller pin one, which is called um, Bright Crystal from Versace. And this is how it looks. Now, this one here smells, this one smells a bit like, it has the perfect scent. Like if you're going towards something that's really like, just clean and subtle, you don't want to wear something very overpowering. As a matter of fact, I will think that this will be great if you're going to like an office meeting or you work in an office corporate office this is not that strong so yes fashionistas these are my favorite fragrances as far as mist lotions and perfumes i hope you enjoyed it and leave me down in the comment section below which one is your fragrance um mist or perfumes or lotions of the year 2015 so if you're interested in any fragrance products that you like as far as perfumes you can just go to fragranceshop.com i'll leave the description down in the section below and you can not these here because these are like victoria's secret and um let me see what else uh let me see oh bath and body works you won't find these on fragranceshop.com but if you're looking for like michael kors chloe you can go to fragranceshop.com and they have a ton of selections for men and women and they have like discounts galore i'll leave the link down in the description below as well as all these items that i've mentioned on this video today that would be it for this video guys i hope you enjoyed it let me know what's your favorite fragrance mist lotion perfume whatever just let me know if you're doing a video like this let me know as well that way i can take a look at it and also don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet follow me on snapchat on snapchat i do daily um fragrance of the day lipstick of the day and fashionistas thank you so much for watching i love you all happy holidays merry christmas have a blessed and happy healthy prosperous new year and i mean that from my heart like i'm getting teary -eyed. why am i getting teary -eyed? i really do wish everyone the best like literally i wish everyone the best and i pray that you guys have a blessed healthy one like seriously and prosperous love you all